Hi guys, welcome to a Tech Gamer 180 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can upload videos to YouTube a lot faster using this technique. Now, the technique I'm going to be showing you is basically it's going to be shrinking the file sizes down of these videos down to a really more or less half of the actual original file size. So, let's jump into the video. So usually when you are rendering out a video using any editing program, it does usually render out in quite a large file. If it's a fairly long video, like a 5-10 minute video, it will render out quite a big file size. And for some of you guys with slow internet, that can be a hassle uploading. Even for people with, with good internet, it can be a hassle. For me, if I tried uploading, let's go on this video, which um, I rendered out previously, which is around about 808 megabytes, would take me probably about 20 minutes. But using this technique, what I'm going to be showing you, I will half that file size, still keeping the same quality, which is the most important in this, and basically will allow me to upload the video a lot faster to YouTube. So the program that I use to shrink the file size down is called Handbrake, and to get this software, you are just going to go onto this URL up here, and also there will be a link down below, so you guys can click that. But basically, as you can see, as soon as you load up the Handbrake, homepage will be greeted by a big red download button and all you need to do is press the download button and that will start to download and then just install it. This program is 100% free because it's open source which is excellent and I definitely definitely would recommend this and I definitely would recommend you share this with everybody because it's it needs to get out there that you can upload videos to YouTube a lot faster. Then once you've downloaded and installed the software off the website, now you will get an icon like this. All you're going to do is press on the icon and then it will load an interface looking like this. Now don't be too scared, there's nothing too hard about the software to get it working. All you're going to do is come up to the corner and press the source. What that means is basically now it wants you to select the video file that you're going to convert. So as you can see, I want to go to the 5K player review, so, so let's do this one, let's select it. And as you can see, as soon as you press open, it will load and basically it will start to scan the video file. So now that you've actually loaded a video onto the software, you can see the options that were greyed out before have now actually become clickable. It's best not to actually mess with any of this because as um, you've seen earlier, the software was scanning the video to match all the settings and everything in that video so nothing changes the only thing that's going to change is obviously the file size which we want so i'm not going to go into any of these because we don't need to the only thing that you're going to need to do on the software is literally press the start button and when you've pressed the start button as you can see the process will begin as you can see i did get a message because i already recorded this video before but it messed up so i'm just going to override the current file that's there and as you can see now the program has started converting that file to an mp4 and obviously shrinking the file size down which we want usually it will take um, around about half the time of the video or sometimes the same time of the video this video um, I believe will take around about I'd say seven minutes six maybe quicker but as you can see I'm going to fast forward it for you guys and then I'm going to compare the videos and show you the file size difference so yeah be back in a second Okay, so as you guys can see, it is now done, and once this message comes up, you just press OK, and now you can actually exit out of the software. And basically, as you can see now, I will have two of the same file, but as you can see, one's a .mov and one's a .mp4. Now, the .mp4, as I said earlier, will be the new and compressed and converted one, so if I click get info on that one, and I get info on the original. By comparing these two, there is almost 700 megabytes roughly um, difference in these. And as you can see now, let me just open up both of these at the same time. And that is, I will put the compressed one on the right and the original on the left. So make sure they're not interlining. And let me just turn the sound down on that and turn the sound down on that. Let's just press play on that one. And as you can see, there is almost no difference at all or even if there's any difference at all, it's really not noticeable. I can't personally see it myself, but as you guys can see, I can't see any difference at all. And there's literally, it's shaved more or less 700 megabytes off the original file which will allow you guys now to upload your videos a hell of a lot quicker so yeah guys 
that is all for this video i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i would appreciate if you guys could leave a like and also a comment tell me how much you shaved off a video and also don't forget to subscribe so yeah guys thanks for watching see ya yeah tech gamer tech gamer unboxing reviews and an entertainer with tutorials and gameplay he's a technological guy going all the way with frequent videos always coming out click that subscribe button to see what he is all about like the video share it with your friends drop a comment below where you can vent what you love and what you want to see next time so tune in every week for the next time i hope to see you around thanks for watching tech gamer on the rise never stopping